Welcome to the presentation of a new feature for easy project duplication of machines and plants. This feature is available as of Movie Suite version 2.22. Using two typical hardware structures, we will show how to duplicate a Movie Suite project. This means using one Movie Suite project for identical machines, lines, or plant sections. The first hardware structure has decentralized master controllers. The second hardware structure has one central master controller. The following requirements apply. The S7 program of each master controller has been started up. There is one Movie C controller per line. The axis types in each line are identical. All required licenses are installed. Identical device firmware in the Movie Suite project and in the line. In this example, the structure of a line consists of the following components from SEW EuroDrive. One Movie C controller with firmware version 06.01. One MDD ninety A Movie Drive double axis module. One MDA ninety A Movie Drive single axis module equipped with a CSS thirty one A safety card. Movie Kit Stacker Crane. Movie Kit Stacker Crane multi axis controller. Movie Kit Stacker Crane multi motion. All devices of the first line are fully commissioned. The Movie C controller program has been saved and started. The Movie Suite project has been saved. Here is an urgent recommendation for critical applications where an exchange of the axis should be avoided. For this purpose, Explicit device identification is used on each axis module. The address of each axis module is set with a screwdriver at the rotary switches. In addition, the address is stored in the IEC editor. This avoids axis misassignments and thus unwanted starts of wrong axis. For this purpose, the PC was connected to the Movie C controller of the next line. Important note for this step. For a hardware structure with decentralized master controllers applies the following. The Movie C controller name must be named identically to the basic project. For a hardware structure with one central master controller applies the following. Movie C controller name is replaced by the parameterized ProfiNet name. If the IP address of the Movie C controller is identical, a device replacement is detected and displayed on the devices. As an example, here is the message of the first axis. Perform a right click with the mouse on the Movie C controller and execute the action PC All Devices by clicking to start the data transfer to all devices. The check mark at field bus address parameter must be set if there is a hardware structure with decentralized master controllers. If there is only one central master controller, the field bus address parameters must not be taken over from the first line. Confirm with Yes set configuration state. Confirm Perform PC All Device. Movie Suite notifies with overlays about the current status of the transfer. Confirm with OK.
the error message of the CSS31A safety card has to be confirmed. A restart of the system is performed here. Open the IEC editor. Restore the movie suite archive in order to re-import any missing libraries or device descriptions. Log in. Confirm with yes. Start the movie C controller and then place the IEC editor in the background. Since the F communication parameters are not transferred by the PC device function, they must be set now. Open the Assist CS tool and log in. Confirm with Next. Set the F communication parameters. Check the CRC checksum, that is, make a comparison with the CRC checksum in the TIA portal. Transfer the data to the device and create a report. All entries inclusively the checksum of report. At the end, close the Assist CS tool. Update the configuration data using the Update Configuration Data function. Confirm the prompt with OK to perform a warm reset and restart the Movie C controller. Switch to the IEC editor. Create the boot application and load it onto the Movie C controller. And then minimize the IEC editor. Save the Movie Suite project for the current line by clicking Save Project As. Use the original Movie Suite base project for startup of further lines. Thank you for your interest in the Movie Suite engineering software.